Hello everyone, let's do some woody dark editing with Lightroom Classic. If you want to follow along this tutorial, as always, you can find the raw file in the description of the video. And now let's begin. So here we have the base image. You can see it's rather bright. The exposure looks great according to the histogram. There's no over or under exposure. This means we have all the details we need to play around making the shot a lot darker. But first, I do want to change the profile going from Adobe Color to Adobe Neutral. This will dramatically lessen the contrast, which in turn just means I do have way more control over that myself. But before we work on the exposure, let's just play around with the white balance. And I think I actually want to make this a little warmer. So let's just raise the temperature. I think overall this looks much better with those natural color tones. Now raising the temperature has worked pretty good. But at this point, you can see there is some slight green color cast going on. So I want to fix that by bringing up the tint. Let's raise it quite a bit. Okay, I think this looks pretty good this way. At this point, let's work on exposure. At the moment, everything is just gray. I want to change that by bringing down the exposure and I'm dropping it a lot. I'm paying close attention to the histogram, but you can see we can go quite far down without underexposing anything. This might be a little too much, so I'm bringing back up the exposure, just looking for that sweet point somewhere around this area. Since we want to have some contrast, I'm going to enhance the highlights and the whites. What this means is I'm going to simply bring up the highlights all the way. You see, since we brought the exposure down, by a huge amount, raising the highlights all the way up doesn't do that much. So let's further continue by bringing up the whites. And with introducing whites, you can see we are also introducing a lot more contrast. So let's bring that up some more. I think that is a good spot. But if I hold down the Alt key, you can see there is some overexposure right there in the center. I think in this area, it's okay to have some overexposure since it will improve the contrast and this area is not that important and we are not losing too much information since it's cloudy anyway. So let's just work with a bit of overexposure. At the same time, I do want to bring down the shadows just to further improve the contrast. That looks great. And at the same time, I might want to bring up the blacks. And finally, just add some overall contrast, because this works pretty good in here. All right, at this point, we could add some texture, which will make the shot a bit sharper. And I'm also going to drop the vibrance since I want this image to be dark and rather desaturated. So after just a few base adjustments, we have turned this shot into this very, very dark and grim looking image. But of course, we can enhance it some more by applying a little bit of masking. So let's open up the masking stuff. And what I want to do first is to just make the top part darker. I'm going to start this by using a radial gradient. And I'm going to create a rather big one, which almost covers the whole width of the image. Let me move that thing, please. Just trying to cover the brightest parts up here. And with that radial gradient, let's bring down the exposure. And as we bring down the exposure, you can see we will reveal some more details in the clouds, which is pretty good. I am going to continue darkening the top part using a linear gradient. Let's bring it down quite a bit. And again, just drop the exposure. Then to further bring out the detail, I am going to add texture and a lot of clarity. All right, perfect. Then next up, let's work on the center part. Again, I am using a radial gradient. Let's create one like this. I'm going to adjust the position a bit. And with this mask, I'm going to bring up the exposure just a notch and I want to have the focus on the center of the image so it's a good idea to brighten this area up some more. 
to add some glow, we can use another radial gradient. Let's make it small and almost a perfect circle right here. And I'm going to overlap the bright areas with the mountains and just bring up the blacks and decrease the dehaze. Decreasing the dehaze will make this area brighter and thus just lead to more overexposure. But as I said, this area isn't really that important. We are not losing any vital information in here since there's mostly just fog. So to me, that's okay. And finally, I do want to further work on the center. So let's make use of another bunch of radial gradients. I'm first targeting that mountain peak right there in the center. And here, let's bring up the exposure. And I'm going to use the same mask, just going to click on it and say add and choose a radial gradient and just add a few radial gradients throughout the image. So I want this area to be a little brighter. And let's add one more radial gradient on the right side of it. Just like that. Perfect. And I think that's it for the masking adjustments. This is the image without the masks and here with the masks. You can see it's way more moody after those masking adjustments. So those were really helpful. Actually, I might want to adjust that linear gradient some more, bringing it further down and maybe drop the exposure some more, just like that to make it really dark at the very top. Okay, but that's it. Now there is a little bit of color grading left to do. And for that, I'm skipping over the HSL panel since we don't really need to adjust any specific color. Instead, let's open up the color grading panel for the split toning. And here we want to target the shadows and the midtones. So for the shadows, of course, for this scene, a cold tone fits very well. So let's go with a cold hue like this and just slightly raise the saturation. Just a minimal amount because I want to have a subtle change here. And I'm doing the same thing for the midtones. So again, pick a cold hue and just bring up the saturation very slightly. Perfect. And one final bit of color grading in the calibration tab all the way down in Lightroom. I'm just going to drop the blue primary hue just to affect those blue color tones in a certain way, making them a little more aqua-ish, but that's just a personal thing. And for the very last thing already, we are going to apply the sharpening. So in the details tab, I'm going to bring down the radius and I'm going to bring up the details. Then I'm applying masking because you only want the mountains to get some sharpening, just like that. And now I'm bringing up the amount of sharpening. Done. And that is the final image after just a few Lightroom adjustments. I hope this Lightroom tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, as always, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.